We are at the last, this is pretty much the last ancient site we're going to see for this trip. This is before the pyramids, right? Yeah, this is, this is the oldest structure we will probably ever see. <laughs> and this is like the oldest grand, like big structure we'll ever see that was considered big. I mean, yes, the Great Pyramids are much larger. The Great Pyramids are much larger than this. But this is the first of the pyramids. Like this is the first pyramid built in Egypt. I mean, there's some little stuff, but there's, it's like not very big at all. But yeah, so my legs are long enough. I can just walk up to the side of there going like, pop right up there. And this must be something really cool. Right over there is the city of Cairo. <laughs> oh, and that's a pyramid. That's a smaller pyramid, but... That one's really falling apart because of anarchy in ancient times. This place is cool. So, entering the light the chambers. Uh, this is much shinier than most. Yeah, this is, they might have repolished this. Do you think they repolished this or is this original? By the same limestone. Why is it so polished? Because it, it limestone can be polished by the same limestone. Like a sandpaper. And by the way, my friends, some we are 20. So it's a good number. 10 and 10. Here and there and make way for the business. Thank you. like the temple complex thing. This isn't like what they call the Mastabai, was it? I was wondering if this was... No, no, this is not the base of the building. This is like... Thank you. Right over to the right is the pyramid, is the step pyramid. Please welcome in the Royal Princess Zoser. Jen and Ben. Joser or something like D-J-O-Z-E-R is I think it's how you spell in English. Jen and Ben. Thank you. Over here, you will see that those columns, those columns are very primitive, you know, not like those will develop later, you know, low dust. Papyrus, the bottom of the ground. This is like a bundle of trunk. You know, bundle, you know. Look how big. This is, by the way, an authentic sex. It used to be like this. And the ceiling pattern used to be. So the origin of the uh, idea of this pyramid. Okay, so it first started off with the base level. That's what people did. And what happened was they discovered for other tombs that. Dogs and animals would get in the first level because they would dig looking for you know, the food and stuff that they would bury with the pharaohs. So they needed a way to make it harder for, basically impossible for people to get in, animals to get in. Not people, people too, but yeah, that didn't work. So what they did was they put you know, the layer protection on top of it to help protect it. And then they realized 
The more they built up, the closer and closer they get to Ra, the sun, the sun god. So symbolically, there's not, there's not only more protection from the elements and the critters, but it also symbolically means that you're getting closer and closer to God. And that reminds me of a very similar story. What was the story? What, what, what was the, one of the first stories in the Bible that happened right after Noah's Ark? The Tower of Babel. And the people were trying to build their way to the sky. And it's possibly something looked like something like the ziggurat. So the ziggurat might have had some kind of influence. Or maybe it was the other way around. Maybe this influence the ziggurat. But yeah, possi it's very possible that the idea of the Tower of Babel might have been influenced. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. There's just something to think about. The idea of the ziggurat. So yeah, it's something to wonder and ponder about. So, you see other pyramids. What did he say? That's I see the bent pyramid. I don't think those are the great pyramids, are they? Okay, so here's the step pyramid. And over there you can see the bent pyramid right there. I don't know if you can see the video too well, but you see the great pyramids. And you can see a bunch of... Um, failed attempts to build pyramids all around because they were trying to get the engineering right and they just you know, I mean because of math and physics it just wasn't working but eventually they figured it out and built the Great Pyramids and there's another one right behind there I didn't see it though oh we got some camels this one. One dollar. No oh, thanks. This was a pyramid. <laughs> this is the one that failed? No, it was on the other side. This is a different one that failed. Yeah. Yeah, it was a pyramid. But yeah, it's cool that you can see the Great Pyramids from the Step Pyramid. And there's the Sahara Desert. <laughs> you want to skip, like skip, like being the Texas, we call them like, uh, like uh, what do you call them? Yeah? Tax evasion. Exactly. Yeah. Evaders, you know, for being the tax. So, you know, here the guy is holding them, okay, and he is dragging them to the stripes. Spain, okay, and here the gentleman, he has like his quail and he is recording everything. Not even like today, if we have a pencil, we put it like this. So, those are two here in his head. Here, very pretty thing. Then we go here. Look at this. Beautiful. We are talking about almost, almost 4,000 and 400 years old. 4,000 feet. Oh, there's the false yeah. door. This is the belief that the spirits teleport them. They were thinking was portals. See if you play video games, this is where the blue portal appeared and it was just kidding. And focus. They come back here. Wow. Here you see everybody here, not yet? Yep. Yeah. I'm in here. Trying to get the picture. Okay. Trying to get the picture. It's such a small space.
someone had to paint this and this and this. Here, this is the lady, this is the crown princess, okay, Kedut, the shot Kedut. She is holding a lotus flower, can you see? She's spinning it, okay? In ancient Egypt, we didn't have the I guess this is still... Checking out the rest of the tombs. We came from over there. There's more mastabas.